People often ask me if there's an exploding dots way to do long multiplication. And the answer is yes, but you're not going to like it. For example, let's do 37 times 23. Uh, let me draw a picture of 37. So here's a 10 one machine, uh, and I want three tens and seven ones. And I'll scale all that by a factor of 23. All right. So this assumes I know my multiples of 23 very well. So three dots here will become 23 is big, 323 is 69, so I'll now have 69 dots there. All right, I've got seven dots here right now. I want to go up by a factor of 23. For some reason, I have to know in my head that 723 is 161, so seven dots will become 161 dots. Whoa, there it is. There's the answer to 37 times 23. It's 69T161. Crazy. But look at that, I can see there's going to be lots of explosions. Let's do some explosions. But I see there's going to be six groups of 10 here, six explosions, make six dots there, and we'll leave nine behind. Nine behind. Great. So actually, that's really 690, 161. All right, lots of groups of 10 there, 16 groups of 10. They all explode, leaving one behind and make 16 dots there. So all explode, uh, leave one dot behind and make an extra 16 dots there. To go with those nine dots, that will give me a total of 25 dots there. Okay, so the answer is 625 to one. But there's more explosions. Two groups of 10 there, explode away, leave five behind, five behind, two explosions, make an extra two dots there to go with the six means I'll have eight dots there. The answer is 851, that is 851, just written normally. There we go, 37 times 23 is 851. I did it, but it was crazy. That was not at all fun. I had to know multiples of 23 in my head, that's not normal, and I had to do lots and lots of explosions. This is really quite hard. So if someone actually truly asked me, James, 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 what's 37 times 23? How would I actually answer that? Well, if they just wanted the answer, I'd get out my smartphone and work it on a calculator. That's, that's the natural human thing to do. That's correct. That's great. I'll get an answer at 851. If they wanted me to actually show some thinking about how would I think my way through that, here's what I would actually do in that case. So to me, this is really a geometry problem. I'm being asked to work out the area of a rectangle. So here's a rectangle, and it happens to be 37 units long and 23 units high. So to work out the area of that rectangle, what do I have to do? I have to work out length times width, 37 times 23, and I have to work that out. Okay, so that's really a geometry problem. All right, so, um, but the numbers are really not very friendly. I don't like 37, it's very awkward. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna split 37 into two nicer numbers. And the two nicer numbers that come to my mind right now are 30 and seven. So let's split the rectangle into two pieces. So to work out the area of the whole thing, I could just work out the area of this piece and the area of this piece and add them together. That would be great. So the 23 is also a bit awkward. So let me split that into something nicer as well. 20 and 3. All right, so let's split the rectangle into four pieces and work out the areas of the individual pieces, add them up, and that, that numerical value will be the answer to my problem. Great. And the numbers here aren't too bad. I can work out these areas. For example, uh, this piece will be 30 by 20, so uh, that's 6 with two zeros, 600. That is area 600. This piece is 20 by 7, so uh, that's 14 with an extra zero. Great. Area of this piece is 3 times 30, that's 90. Area of this piece is going to be 3 times 7, 21. Great! So the answer to my uh, uh, multiplication problem is 600 plus 140 plus a 90 plus a 21. That's uh, 740 uh, plus 90, that's uh, 830 uh, plus uh, 21 is uh, 851. Yes, there it is, 851 again. Great, good, and golden. All right, all right. Now, of course, in school, students aren't typically taught to do multiplication this way. In fact, I was taught to do a very strange uh, uh, algorithm, which is very weird. I was taught to do this. Write it up this way and go 3 times 7 is 21. Don't write 21, just write a 1 and put a little 2 there. Very weird. Then do 3 times 3 is 9, then add the 2 and write 11. But actually write 11 all the way out like that. Whoa. Then uh, do two, oh, then put a zero there, and then do two times seven is 14. I want to write 14 there. No, 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 don't write 14. Just put, write, write a four there with a one up there. Then two times three is six. Add a one is seven. Now add up those pieces. I can see I get 851. That's very strange. That's very strange. In fact, actually, it's, it's very strange to this day and age. A lot of schools now actually have students do it this way. They do a method called partial products, I think it's called. They say, okay. What's three times seven? Do the same thing, three times seven is 21. Actually write 21. Uh, what's three times 30? It's 90. Actually write 90. Oh, in fact, I really do what I'm doing the picture. I really did three times seven, there it is. I really did three times 30, there it is. Now do 20 times seven, 
140, actually write 140, did it. And now do 20 times 30, 600, actually write 600, and now add up those pieces. And of course you get 851, of course you get 851. So a lot of schools now teach students this way. They might draw the picture to go with it, or they might not. I think drawing the picture is really the way to go. But that's all fine, that's all fine. And in fact, you can see right now that this 90 and this 21 is this 111 combined. And this 140 and 600 is really combined to make that 740 right there. So actually, this standard algorithm is doing all this in disguise. It's just compactified everything. It uses less ink. All right, all right, but here's the thing, here's the thing. There's actually a nice way to do this method with this method and exploding dots all mashed together. Here's my exploding dots mashup of long multiplication. I'm gonna kind of follow this technique, but not do all those weird carries. I'm gonna actually show you a way to do standard long multiplication in an exploding dots mindset. Here goes. Uh, three, 37 times 23, all right. Ah, uh, to do the same thing. 3 times 7 is 21. Okay, I meant to just write the 1 and carry 2. Don't. Actually write 21. All right. 3 times 3 is 9. That's fine. Just write 9. Okay, do the 0 thing. 2 times 7 is 14. I meant to write a 4 to carry a 1. Don't. Actually write 14. That's fine. And then do 2 times 3 is 6. That's great. Just write it. Now add those together. I'll get a 6, I'll get a 23, and I'll get a 21. So the answer is 623T21. Beautiful. Now do explosions. Uh, two explosions here, kaboom, kapow, turn that into an eight, leaving three behind. Eight, three, 21. Two explosions, kaboom, kapow, leave one behind, extra two dots there, eight, five, one. There it is. There's the exploding dots mindset applied to the standard long multiplication algorithm. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do, um, I don't know, 75 times 32. Let's try that. Okay. So I'll do this mashup version on 75, I said, times 32. 75 times 32. So just do the standard long multiplication algorithm. Don't carry anything. 2 times 5 is 10. Just write 10. 2 times 7 is 14. Just write 14. OK. Bring a little zero here. 3 times 5 is 15. Just write 15. 3 times 7 is 21. Just write 21. And then add those. So I'll get 21, uh, 29, 10. OK. Now do the explosions. Uh, 10 will explode here, make an extra dot there, leaving zero behind. So this is really 21, uh, 30 with zero behind. Three explosions here, kaboom, kapow, kazing, add three more dots there, leave zero behind. So 24, zero, zero. If you like two explosions here, leave four behind, two, four, zero, zero. This has the answer, 2400. Wow, that mashup's kind of cool.